Hello everyone, and um, thank you for watching my video. I come to you wearing my pyjamas because we walked a five mile walk, five and a half mile walk this morning and I came home, showered, and I put my pyjamas on and I thought I would film this video and I decided I did not want to get out of my pyjamas. So here we are in my pyjamas. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just get right into the video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I have bought in January. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I was like determined to be in saving mode and I've saved a lot. And there was just some things that I fancied and we're in lockdown still for like another month or whatever. So I just figured that I wanted to buy some stuff. Um, so yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I've bought. Um, I've got quite a lot of things from some small businesses and I don't really like that term but that's kind of what the hashtag trend and things is just now isn't it support small businesses and things like that so I've seen on TikTok or Instagram and locally that I just thought about to give them a bash so that is what I've done um so yeah I've got a right variety of stuff not everything is from small businesses I have got stuff from Amazon and PLT would it be a haul if I don't have something from PLT? Um, get right into the video. So the first thing I'm excited about, box I've got to show you, is from the Waltzing Candle Co. I will go through all the flavours. So the first one is this and I have, oh yeah, I have used these to like try them to see if they were any good um, before mentioning them. Um, and all the ones that we've tried have been Fab. there's some smells that I like more than others but I picked them all and that kind of happens with wax melts you love and um, some smells more than the others and um, so yeah so this first one we love this is grape soda and then I got peaches and cream which is this one and they come um some of the packaging's varied some are in like the plastic cases and some are in like bags but I bought some in the sale section and some in like the not sale section. So I'm thinking the sale ones come like that and these ones must come like this. I'm not sure, but that's my thoughts behind that. Um, so yeah, this next one is peaches and cream. It's lovely as well. And then I got rose jam. And I love how there's glitter in them. Um, I think this one's my least favourite to smell, but it still smells fine. And it smells like what? it was meant to if you know what I mean um so yes I got that one and I've got cozy blankets which I've also used and like I've got this burning away in my pineapple over there and then next this one surprised me rhubarb and rose I really like this one um and then this next one I've got is like a, I think it's a Jo Malone inspired one lime basil and mandarin which is a particular smell um, Diaclin doesn't like this one, but I really do, so. <laughs> and then next we've got Pink Sugar, which I'm not sure on this one, but I'll burn it and see, obviously. And then next I've got Hawaiian Suntan. And then the last three are my favourites, I think. I've got Cola Cube, and it smells exactly like Cola Cube. Then I have got Sparkling Lemon, which is such a strong lemon. So I'm buzzing about this one. And this is definitely my favourite one. This, I don't like saying this one. It's called Salt Water Taffy. And I always think of that as like American, like taffy. Do you want some taffy? <laughs> um, so yeah, I always feel the need to say like salt water taffy. But I don't know, it's salt water Cafe anyway and yeah I think this one's my favourite one and um, I, I really want to burn it but I always do things like this like I always use my I keep my favourite till the end I don't know why because I really want to know what it smells like but I'm like nah I can't do it yet because I've got all these other ones to try um but yeah so I bought these um sticking with the theme of wax melts <laughs> I got this a new burner and I'm being very careful with it because the wax is still um like wet or like melted because 
oh, we had this um, melting on downstairs. And there's a wee story behind this because uh, I've got three of the Scentsy burners and they I am like plug into the wall but this one is a tea light version because Declan wanted a couple of tea lighter ones because he wants them on like all the time um, and that's obviously not like too practical with the um like plug-in ones because that would be like your electricity through the roof no doubt um so yeah and we wanted to get a wax melter but not just like a a typical wax melter that you can see the tea light and stuff because I, I don't like those as much as like like the reason I like the Sansi ones are because they're like decorative as opposed to just oh that's like a wax melter if you know what I mean so then we're browsing and Declan came across this one and I love it I think it's so cool and then the candle just goes in the back here so it's concealed so we really 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 love this loads it goes with the house so yeah winning and this was from a website called Norfolk Aromas um, and the guy was really nice. He was emailing Declan and thanked him for his purchase and things like that. So I thought that was so nice. But yeah, it came pretty quick as well. And yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with this one. Okay, I'm just wondering where I should pop this because I've got everything laid out in front of me to talk about. Um, right. Okay, so the next um small business a bad example because I had to use them to know to like know but I'll pop in and um, like a photo of what they looked like when they first came so this is what I'm showing you next <laughs> um so I am showing you guys basically a bath bomb for your shower and they're called a shower steamer and they're from soap collective and I firstly seen them on it was a TikTok, their TikTok page, and it was showing you how to like use it. And then I think that TikTok kind of went viral and they all sold out. And I was like, well, I need them. <laughs> um, so we don't have a bath. So I was like, oh, well, that'd be a really nice like pamper, kind of a bit of a treat. So I decided to message them and said, oh, when are they coming back in stock? Because I'd seen the TikTok a while ago and like I had saved it and I, I had been checking um, kind of every now and then and they were not back in stock and I was like oh well and then I was just thinking about having like a pamper night because I was feeling quite rubbish with lockdown and all that and then I was like oh they're still not in stock so I decided to message them on Instagram um, hoping that they would reply because they had so many comments on their TikTok and I was like well they'll probably never see it on the TikTok um, and they replied and they were actually getting back in stock that day so I was like well it was obviously fate um so yeah they came back in stock that day and I bought two one for me one for Declan both used ours to obviously try them out and they're so cool like literally such a pamper I think it's just a really nice idea um so I got lemonade mouth which I have used um, and that's the other really cool thing about them. You can use them more than once um, because they're really big and yeah, they don't they don't disappear like a bath bomb. So you can use them a good couple of times. So this is what my one looks like after um, one use. Oh God, it's crumbling away there. And then uh, Declan wanted, I think it was just called like morning or something like that. It was meant to be one to like wake you up and things like that. Um, so his one is just a white one and it had like little flecks in it and he just used this today um, and still got loads of it left. I think they're so cool, such a good idea and they were well priced as well. Um, so I got in touch with the brand and, and I messaged them and said could I pop in their TikTok into this video just to show you how they like worked because I didn't if I had just seen them on a website, I wouldn't have really known. Did you just hear that? That's Declan screaming at bloody cod. Um, yeah, if I'd just seen them on a website, I'd have probably scrolled past them because I wouldn't have known what a shower steamer was. Um, so they kindly said, yes, I could pop in their TikTok. So I'll just pop in their TikTok and show you guys um, how to use them basically. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of our shower steamers. This is the Florida one which smells of oranges. First step is to pretty much just start your shower and get it to the temperature you want. You're going to want to put your shower steamer somewhere where it won't get too wet but it will get a little bit of drizzle and steam from the shower. Once it's nice and steamy it will start to activate and you'll get the lovely amazing aroma it gives off. When you're done you can move it out of the shower and put it somewhere dry to calm down. And most of our shower steamers can be used more than once. Perfect for like a pamper or like a gift stocking filler. 
um yeah so that is the next thing that i got um what will we go with next okay so the next thing i will talk about is from etsy i bought this from a, a etsy shop called magically crafted shop um, I do hope Declan doesn't watch this video because this is for him. Um, but it's just a little Valentine's card and it says Happy Valentine's and it's scratch and win. So it's like a scratch card and you can get it personalised to say different things um, in here. Like you can get it to say like a dinner date or a cinema date or whatever or like cheekier things. Um, so yeah, I thought this was so cool. Just something different than like a, a shop bought car just a bit of fun um, and I bought this and it came like within two days so I think this is so cool it's even better in real life than what I thought it was going to be um because I wasn't really sure I, I haven't really ordered much from Etsy but I'm loving Etsy like they've got some cool stuff um so yeah I just got this little Valentine's card which is so cool I can't wait to give this to him hopefully well he will find it funny because I know what like he is um so yeah I got this and then next i got what will i show next oh decisions decisions <laughs> um right wait yeah let's talk about this We're going on the theme of valentine's day i got this from my lovely friend daisy who is starting to make a uh, little bandanas for the dogs um this she's just starting up so obviously had to get one to support the cause <laughs> um yeah I got this little one for Lola um for Valentine's Day because I thought it was super cute I'll pop in her Instagram here and um, like I say she so she's just starting out and she's bought like her sewing machine everything so she's been doing loads of practice bandanas and she's bought loads of cool fabrics um I think she's gonna send me a photo of some that she's bought to pop in and um, she's got like pretzels tartan ones love hearts so many different ones um so yeah it's just a little slip-on bandana so it goes on like on the dog's collar and then they just look bougie <laughs> and they're so cute honestly it's such good quality i can't believe she's just starting out doing this it is so impressive lola loves it and she looks so cute absolutely obsessed these are gonna be a hit and i'm so chuffed for her but yeah these are so cute and cool um so yeah, well done Daisy. These are fab, love them so much. So the next company I'm gonna talk about and I so hope I have not butchered your name, um, Ethereal Wonders. I hope I've said that correctly. I'm so sorry if I haven't. Um, I Googled it and I listened to the little Google lady speaking. So I hope that's how you say it. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys what I got because it's a personal thing that I got, um, but you should check them out on Instagram. She does paintings, jewelries, jewelries, jewelry, um, crystals, and she is so nice. Georgia, the girl who I was um speaking to, she was absolutely lovely, so professional, just really, really nice. Delivered exactly what I had wanted and more, and it came super quick. And she was like really good at communicating. And yeah, she's got um an Instagram and an Etsy shop as well. Um, and her jewellery is absolutely stunning. Her Valentine's collection that is on her page is beautiful. I'm definitely going to get um, some earrings, I think, to wear for when lockdown's over. But yeah, I just really wanted to mention Georgia because I was really happy with um, what I got from her. Um, and like I say, I'm not going to show it because it is something personal, but definitely check it out for paintings and some really cool, unique jewellery and crystals. So yeah, thank you so much, Georgia. Um... Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually something a bit random. Um, not like the theme of my channel for like beauty and kind of makeup and hair and like things like that. I'm actually going to talk about Tupperware. You heard correctly. Tupperware. <laughs> ah, I'm dropping it. So this bad boy, you may be wondering, this is a rice maker. Um, so my friend Louise kindly gave me this to try out to give a review on my channel which I'm so excited about because I'm feeling very domesticated these days um, and like I say this is a rice maker so you put this in your microwave and um, you stick your rice in it gives you like the most amazing soft 
restaurant like rice like it's blows your mind like it's way better than packets of rice um so yeah this is what it looks like so it's just got like a lid and then a little bit like another like lid um to pop your rice in and i am absolutely obsessed um i haven't used this yet but i'm gonna use it tomorrow because uh on a sunday this is Saturday. Um, I meal prep for me and Declan, our like chicken, rice, veg, whatever we're having. And I cannot wait to use this. I am so excited. Okay, so I've been speaking to Louise this morning and I think I know how to roll with this. So I've got my rice cooker, my instruction booklet, and I have got my rice. So Louise advised that it'd be best to start with 200 grams of rice and see how we get on so I'm just gonna weigh out 200 grams of rice wash it pop it in here put it in the micro and then see how it turns out so that is now in cooking away and um, I'm just gonna go and tub up the rest of my food in the lovely Tupperware tubs to give them a bash. Um, Louise does doorstop delivery for local areas and four pound postage to anywhere in the UK. So yeah, definitely check her out for any of your kitchen goods. Wow. Okay guys, I am seriously impressed by the look of this rice. That looks so, so, so good. Way better than packet stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a little taste test. And just a side note, if you are, um, meal prep and rice, make sure to store it in the fridge um, at a cool temperature and only reheat it after like a day or two because rice isn't um, too safe to reheat um, days after you have cooked it. So yeah, just be careful. And um, there's a couple of articles about it online. Um, I can pop one in the bio, in the description bar below. Um, so yeah, just be careful when reheating rice, but wow, I cannot wait to have this. Oh my God. Now guys, am I gonna burn myself tasting this? That's mm. so, sticking with the theme of Louise and meal prepping, she also gave me to try three Tupperware tubs. Oh no, I've got the wrong lid on this one. Here we go. So she gave me a dark blue one, a turquoise colour and like a darker blue. So three tubs are meant to be like the perfect portion size for your meal prepping, um, which is great because um, most of the time Declan has his tea at work. So he takes like a tub of tea, tub of tea. Um, try. Alexa's calling me, but it says it's me that's calling me what the heck look how weird you saying mum i'm trying to get my nail varnish off on my fingers right and i can't do it with my right hand on my left because i can't i can't work my hand you can't work your hand why no because it's not my not my real hand is it it's not my, my left hand your, your real hand <laughs> right i follow <laughs> My mum called me on Alexa, but it said it was calling, it was a call from me. That was so weird. Um, yeah, anyway, back to our tubs. Um, yeah, Declan takes his tea to work. Um, and then I've started meal prepping my tea as well because cooking for one person is quite like rubbish and difficult to have something good. Um, and I find myself just having like toast or like omelettes or not even having tea so it's not very good so I bought like loads of cheap kind of tubs just from B&M or whatever and they like kind of make your fridge smell because if we meal prep like five meals so there's like 10 meals in the fridge for us and then the fridge kind of smells and I just don't feel like they're very good um and then I had in my last vlog about meal prepping and then Louise was like you need to try these tubs because they don't like let smells or anything there's like a perfect portion size as well which is something I'm very bad at doing portion sizes um so yeah so I'm gonna give these a bash also tomorrow with the rice maker and do this 
and she said like she's obsessed with the, these products she has so much stuff she said she spent so much money on them um and she said one thing she would recommend is uh the cheese smart so it's like a little tub for your cheese so like you're not like as a well what am I trying to say? Not like your kind of everyday cheese, but if you buy like nice cheeses and you don't eat it all at once, like cheese and cracker cheeses is what I mean. Um, and she says that it's amazing. It doesn't like smell in your fridge either, which, oh my God, can I just say? So we love Snowdonia cheese for crackers and we got this new one at Christmas and it's white and like the circle of cheese is white. And I don't know what it is, well, no, I do actually. I don't know why I said I didn't because I do. It's truffle and I hate truffle. Like absolutely despise truffle within an inch of my life because a couple of years ago, um, I was in Paris and we went for a meal in the Eiffel Tower, which was so cool. And I'll see if I can actually find a photo of what I'm talking about because it actually haunts me like so bad. Um, and we were, it was like a set menu thing. So there was like two choices for your starter, your main, your food, things like that. Um, so we went for the chicken. I think me, my mum and dad all went for the chicken. And this meal thing came out like, you know, like your a la carte, like small portions. So it was like a little thing of mash with like a tiny bit of chicken on top. Then it literally looked like bath bubbles and like green on top and we were like what the heck's this bubble stuff because well we didn't know what it was and I it was truffle and it tasted of uh, soap it was vile like I literally in the Eiffel Tower in a restaurant with like fancy people took my napkin and I dabbed the napkin on the chicken to get all the bubbles off of it and oh ever since then anything truffle just haunts me so Declan was cutting up this cheese just to try it and he was like and I was like oh no and he said oh you need to try this I was like okay okay and I tried it and I felt you know when you're like gonna be sick and you get like saliva in your mouth that's what I felt like I was like oh my god I'm gonna be sick and I literally like spat this cheese out all in my hands but Declan's unsure if he likes it or not so we've kept it and it's in the fridge and it's so minging like we've cling filmed it twice and I've put it in a sandwich bag as well and I can still smell it every time I go in the fridge it's making me want to be sick so I, I'm gonna invest in the cheese smart as well um so thank you again to Louise for giving me these to try and do a little review for you guys. This is Louise's card. So she's called the Tupperware Quine. Can I just say, I'm getting very domesticated with all this meal prep and cooking and adulting and I'm loving it. And I can't wait to spend a lot of money on Louise's Tupperware. Motion detected at the front door. Hello, hello. Motion detected at the front door. Well, let's hope Declan gets that motion because I'm in mid-video. <laughs> um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll probably have seen Lola, um, our dog, a little French bulldog. Um, and since about just before Christmas, um, she was really itchy and cut a long story short because I actually am going to make a separate video all about her. Um, she is allergic to a lot of food including most like normal meats so like chicken um lamb duck things like that so she's allergic to so much food and um, we're really struggling to find any form of treats for her that she can have because everything she was previously having was like chicken or duck or lamb was quite a major one the only meat that we've found that she can have so far is like venison or like really weird stuff I'm um, kind of not your uh, everyday like flavors of dog food so it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to find her new stuff so we were in pets at home as you do like looking for our bits and bobs and they were so lacking in like anything that wasn't literally what I've just said chicken lamb blah blah, blah all that type of stuff and then um there's actually a pet shop like a local like a small business pet shop um in our town and we were recommended by a couple of people to try there because they've got like alternative stuff like not just like your your mainstream brands that pets at home and stuff like that had so we went today and was so impressed so it's called fp bernie pet shop and we got a few different bits and bobs the first thing being this 
Expelliarmus. <laughs> so we got our uh, Harry Potter wand. <laughs> um, no, so this is a giant goat stick and it's hypoallergenic, gluten-free and it's a dental aid and it's from the brand Anco Naturals, which they had quite a lot of in the shop. Um, the guy was so nice and friendly and was like listening to us about Lola and um, it's like a kind of not a huge shop so they're just letting like one family in at a time so like the the door was shut and that so we were allowed to like let her off the lead for her to roam about um he, you could just tell like he actually really cared and knew his stuff he wasn't just like an employee in a shop but that didn't actually like care about your like specific needs so it was really nice and his dog was allergic to things too so he feels our pain um, and he, he said that He's just waiting for a couple more orders of like natural stuff that would be good for Lola. But he gave us a huge selection of stuff to like pick from or try. Like it wasn't pressure to buy it or anything. Um, so what we've come out with is this, like I say, this giant goat stick. And this is going to keep her going for ages. We also got her ear hide roll, which is which is just like a long kind of chew. Um, she's currently chewing at the minute. So I thought I best not take it off her just to show in a video. Um, so we got that and then we got this little toothbrush. There was loads of different sizes of these but I thought this was quite a good one for her. And it's has like a, a little bit of a smell but nothing like bad. Um, and it is... Oh, can you see that? C-E-R-E-A. Sira? Sarah? Um, but basically this is a chew that is literally just all vegetables and um, she's not allergic to any vegetables so yeah we got that um and i was really impressed with what they had they had loads of loads of stuff like really nice cool stuff and um, so we're gonna see how she gets on with these bits and bobs and go back like once she's eaten them and try the new bits and bobs that the guy said that they were just coming in so yeah um shout out to fp bernie they have gone instagram too so i'll pop it on the screen and I'm delighted and she's loving her, her um dear chew so yeah 10 out of 10 to those so let me just remove that bag because it was really bothering me um sticking with dog dog kind of things so that's kind of the proportion of the video that's the small businesses done so um yeah I love everything that I've bought from these small businesses they're just it's really 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 good and the service is amazing and yeah i'm just really impressed with all the products that i bought but sticking with the dog side of things i've actually bought quite a few things from amazon so i'll show you these now i bought these molds from amazon for lola so they're like paw prints and dog bones so they're quite like thick and I got a blue one, well it was a pack of three and I think they were like eight pounds or something like that. Got a pink one and a purple one and um, there was like different kind of options um, of different like bones and things like that. But the reason I got these kind of um, similar to the dog shoes I just mentioned because of her allergies and I made some treats for her that were yogurt yogurt peanut butter banana and honey so like all natural stuff that she can have and doesn't upset her allergies so yeah i got these from amazon like i say they were eight pound if you just type in paw print molds um like or paw print ice cube molds something like that and yeah i got these from amazon so they're very cool and sticking with amazon i got what i always mention in like videos to do with this my probiotics from biocult and um, i get these on amazon this just really helps my tummy because i get really upset tummies after a certain food and helps with bloating hugely i'm obsessed i buy these every single month and i really notice if i miss a day or two having these i take two a day and they're fantastic so yeah i got those um, also from Amazon, this is a random one, but I bought light bulbs um, that change colour. So they're they're in just now, so I will show you them in action. Um, hopefully they work because it's still kind of the daylight and they are better in the evening. And these were literally like, I think it was $12.99 or $8.99. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they, they weren't very much. 
and you get this is a two pack so you get two bulbs and you get two remotes so obviously like a remote for each room that has a bulb and um, i haven't actually used this remote yet so let's do it and this is the remote so you've got all your different colors your different settings like on off and how long you want them on for i'm just gonna switch mine on i uh, god i'm choking and just like a disclaimer if you like you're not supposed to use them with a dimmer switch but this is what this room is but it just flickers when you turn it on but once it's on it's fine but you can't dim them or anything like that so if when they flicker and you think oh well they're rubbish it's just because it's a dimmer switch in the bedroom it doesn't do that because it's not a dimmer switch <laughs> so that is just like the normal bulb because you can have it like normal as well See, it's not very effective in the day. But you got the gist? That one's sick. With my pyjamas, that's sick. Let me turn off my light in and I might be able to see it better. Oh, there we go. How cool is that? Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, you get the kind of gist of the lights. Um, I just thought they were quite cool. Um, I don't know if anyone else thinks they're cool, but I personally do. Um, I want to get one for the downstairs lamp because I just think it would be cool to like, because I always have a lamp on when we're watching programs and I just thought it would be like, what's the word? Not like vibe, but... I can't think of the word, but I just mean I think it would be like a cool vibe to have um, like a bit of a ambiance. That was the word, like a cool ambiance when you're watching stuff. Um, so yeah, I got these bulbs and I think they're really cool. So we've got one in here, one in the bedroom. And I, like I said, we'll get one for the lamp in the living room. Then the next, pardon? <laughs> um, the next thing that I got from Amazon is from this brand called viv 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 eco fashion read it how you will um and what i got was metal straws now i don't know if i just didn't look what i was ordering or what but it's not it came and it's not what i expected so i expected four of these ones wait super cool eh? <laughs> um, so yeah I, I expected four of the bandy ones but I got two of these one of them's downstairs because it's getting washed and then I got two straight ones so I suppose they'd be good for like mojitos or something um but yeah they're not like perfect for everyday kind of glasses but yeah it's only kind of me that uses a straw so I've got two of the ones that I wanted and then I've got two for making kind of tall cocktail glasses so that's pretty cool and then you get this thing that comes with it as well just to stick it in like that just to like help them help you clean them so yeah they're really cool and i just think that they're cool i've wanted um, metal straws for a wee while so i got some metal straws and they haven't disappointed they're really good and i feel like they make your drink colder because they're metal and like it's cold like going through it i don't know if i'm just making that up or what but yes yeah, so i bought those from amazon Anything else from Amazon? No, I don't think, so. I think it was ASOS. I got a top up of uh, Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this foundation. I've mentioned it probably like in all of my makeup videos and I was running low. So I got a new one, look how pretty it is. I got the shade light beige, that's what's on my face just now. I am. Um, it's a pretty good match to me and like you can tan it up or if you're tanned with some bronzer or whatever because I've put like some tan on my neck and face so yeah it's a really good colour for me just now because the sunbeds are shut so I needed a bit of colour so yes I got this from ASOS and I also got um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer another top up which I also have on today um yep I love it this is in custard I'm sure you've all seen it, but hey, queen. Hey, queen. Lola has entered the room. 
Oh no, she'll be smelling the treats from the pet shop. <laughs> Here comes the baby girl. She's showing my indecency. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to the concealer. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's just that colour. I love this concealer. It, um, when I actually first got it, I wasn't so convinced on it. But the more I've used it, um, I wouldn't be without it now. So yeah, I love that concealer. Um, so that was the two things I got from ASOS. And then I got a top up of my eyebrow stuff from MAC. So I got this here. So it is what is actually called Pro Longwear Fluid Eyeliner Gel. Now, yes, I did say eyeliner, but I use it on my brows because... I don't, I don't know why. I, no, I do actually know why because I got my makeup done at MAC. Um, I've had it done a couple of times, but the last time I loved my brows. And this was what they used. And she was like, yeah, um, I've got so many people on it. Um, although it's eyeliner, it's like a two-in-one because you can use it on your brows. And that is the only brow product that I ever use now other than like brow gel, um, like to set them or whatever. But yeah, this is it. It's just a little little wee pot and it's in the shade dip down yeah dip down so it's just like a dark brown oh god whoever packaged that's got muscles i hope it opens no oh, i've not got a dud <laughs> there we go so yes that is all that it looks like and i love it and my last one is gross now in fact i'm just gonna get it out to compare to show you I, I use this every time I do my makeup, but I, it like, I outlive it because look how, look it's that dry, it's like come away. Oh, <laughs> it's that dry, it's just come out. Literally, look at this, this is vile. Yeah, so I was in dire need of a new one and now it's, still say it still got pigment <laughs> um yeah so that is what i got from mac so i think i'm just gonna replace that straight away i'm gonna make a drawer of like new products but that one's not gonna be in there because it, it needs replaced and it needs replaced now um and then from also from mac you just get your usual free sample so i've got the satin spray so that's great i've got loads of little ones these are mega handy for sticking in your bag for going out if anyone remembers what going out even feels like but yeah these are good for that and then sticking with the theme of beauty i got from beauty bay i think yeah it was beauty bay i got this isle of paradise tanning mist so the reason I got this is because I really wanted to try the Jamie Genevieve, is it U Tan um, spray? And I was watching uh, Sophie Scott. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, Sophie, who does my nails, has got a YouTube channel and she is an absolute bloody hit, which I knew she would be. Um, so, yeah, I'll pop her link somewhere maybe in the description box but yeah you should go and check her out she's absolutely hilarious if you're feeling sad she will like cheer you up straight away and she used the jamie genevieve one and said that it like made her brows like change color a little bit um so i was like mm, i'm not really wanting that um and i messaged my friend because she also has it and i was like what do you think and that was the first thing she said and she hadn't seen sophie's video and i hadn't said it to her that Sophie had said it in her video and I was like right okay and then Daisy was like you need to get the Isle of Paradise tanning drops because you can like drop them into your moisturizer so you can also like pick where you put it on if that makes sense so I was having a neb for that and then I came across the water now the reason I bought the water because obviously the spray is going to like touch your brows as well like the u-tan but there's a reason I got this with this it was on offer so this is a refill so it's like to reduce like plastic because this is a refill so you're not having to buy this again with all this and this is like 81 percent less plastic or something because it's just a refill um and it was on offer for two pound more than what 
the serum or the water was for itself basically i got this for free and this is another one of these so i was like well i have to get this obviously so i have and i've got it on today and i think it's like really natural um i sprayed it on my arms and stuff as well because like i said earlier the sunbeds are shut and i'm like missing them so much um and i need to learn how to use it because i am like a bit patchy but it's because it's like a developer like there that's better you can't really see where you're spraying it and um, but for my face and like kind of chest area uh, it's absolutely perfect i um, the first time i used it i was like whoa like that went really dark but now i'm like back to being used to being tanned it's perfect i got it in the shade dark and you get a medium and light i'm um, sticking with beauty i got just a top up of my seaweed gel cleanser moisturizer thing how what do you even call it oil control gel cream got a top up of this because like i said in my 2020 favorites video i was almost finished it so i got a new one um and that is it full so yeah it's like not like full i think i've said that in a video before like i feel like it could be fuller and um, but this is really good and i also bought a new one which i haven't actually used yet so i'm excited to try this this is the lemon look at lola like this one t hey, you want this one shall we clean your face with this one um so yes this is the purifying face wash helps wash away bacteria and i was gonna say that bloody word again Im impurities but in a previous video or two i think i said imperfurities or something it's a word i struggle to say um but yeah so i got this this is new i'm excited to try this and then i'm just going to show you guys my galotti box this month as well because it was quite a good one um i got some hand sanitizer gel which you can't go wrong with just now i got um mud maske mud masky um, and this is a serum infused eye mask to reduce dark circles puffy eyes fine wrinkles drying skin and swelling so i got this and then i also got this avocado infused sheet mask who doesn't love a sheet mask and then i got this saint lux brow gel and i also got this moisturizing serum from F-U-G-T serum, Figget, Figget serum, <laughs> I'm not too sure, um, so this is from Eco, Eco, I'm not actually sure how you say this, but I haven't used any of these products yet as they have not long come, and then I also got these, so these are um, daily reusable cotton rounds, and I think that's quite a good idea, like, to be reusable, um, and you just get this little booklet every month to tell you what's in your glossy box and i think it's eco e cooking e cooking look up i'll show you yeah i'm not really too sure but yeah that is what i got with that and there was another product in there but i've already used that and i can't actually recall what it is so you going down? Come on in. Good girl. Um, so yeah, I absolutely, oh look, there's a little bit of oranginess there. <laughs> um, yeah, I absolutely love getting a glossy box. I think it's such a good way to try new stuff and they're just fun. And then last but not least is Pretty Little Thing. I didn't get much. I've got a basket of stuff sitting, mostly pajamas actually. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it, but hey. So I, the first thing I got was this shirt, an oversized, chocolate shirt i think this is stunning so trendy just now and i've been wearing this with leggings and my doc martens that i got for christmas which i love um yeah this is just perfect i got this in a size 10 definitely could have gone eight because it is really big but that was the point and what i wanted and then last but not least i just bought some leggings from plt plain black leggings nothing fancy um these were like four pound and i would definitely say size down i got them in at eight well i got them in at eight and a ten so i wasn't actually sure but the eight fits so much better and i'm never an eight on the bottom half so yeah four pound literally can't go wrong 
Um, I think that's everything. So for a person who said at the start of the video they weren't planning on buying much this month, I bought quite a lot this month, but I bought kind of everything a bit randomly like throughout the month. It wasn't all like at once as such. Um, and it's just kind of one thing from each place here and there. So it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, that is everything. I, I hope you do, hope you do enjoy. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do buy anything from any of these businesses, uh, feel free to let me know. I'd love to know what you think of any products. And that's it. If you haven't um, subscribed already, then please do so. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you would like to. And um, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.